switching gears. Did you see it, everybody? Did you catch the Northern Lights last night? Well, take a look at these amazing pictures our viewers sent us of the Aurora Borealis dazzling the night sky above the DMV. Yeah, they got some good ones there. Uh, the good news is, is that if you did miss it last night, don't worry, you might get another chance to see that glow light up the sky tonight. Our Jennifer Delgado. Meteorologist mm -hmm. keeping an eye to this guy joining us live from uh -huh. the University of Maryland. What are our chances? Hopefully they're good. <gasps> Yeah, you know what? I got to tell you, we still have a chance for tonight. It's not going to be as great uh, talking about the solar storm as it was last night. But for tonight, you look to the sky, we have clear conditions. And the problem last night, we got these clouds rolling in. And that actually hampered uh, some of the viewing. You know, anytime you get an aurora display down here to the south, it's always a treat. Well, you don't need to get the professional telescope out like this one that you're seeing at the University of Maryland. You can just do it at home with your eyes and, of course, a nice camera. Now, joining me right now, we have Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you are the observatory astronomer here. You are in charge here. And, you know, you're very excited about it. You're very geeky. I mean, come on. <laughs> we got to show off these pants a little bit here. All right. You got it from your core. But, I mean, we still have a shot tonight mm -hmm. to check this out. Yes, we're very excited. There's a really good chance with the space weather conditions and everything mm -hmm. that are occurring that we'll have a good chance to see the aurora tonight. The trick is, is if the clouds and the haze will hold off for us to have clear sky. Right. It's all about the timing, the KP index, and we have some photos, and we're going to show the photos of some of the reports that we're getting last night. But, you know, I was at home, I went out and I checked, and I felt like such a failure, but there is an art to it, especially when they're not as low. So last night was a bit difficult because there was so much haze. I was out, I did not see them, but mm -hmm. my camera did. Mm -hmm. So I really recommend that folks try to go out tonight, set up their camera on a tripod, mm -hmm. and then try to aim at the northern sky, and maybe they'll get lucky. Uh -huh. All right, and so we can do that, and we can be the professionals, but, you know, even still, it is a rare treat. You know, a lot of people think that, oh, well, it has to be in the cold weather. It can happen anywhere, anytime. It can happen anywhere, anytime. Right now, we're getting the northern lights, the aurora borealis, but then you also have the aurora australis, which are the southern lights. So people down in Australia and everything. They're where enjoying it right now. Well, hopefully they are. <laughs> hopefully they are. All right, we'll come back out to your live. Now, you have your camera set up out here, mm -hmm. and like you said, you don't need a telescope. Take your eyes outside and set up your camera, but you also have a night watch on there too, right? Well, With so, your I mean, every cell phone camera has different apps for, you know, taking shots, but most of the native camera apps will have a night mode on okay. it. So you just have to learn your night mode. And then the best thing to do is try to stabilize your camera somehow. So I do take a lot of nighttime shots. I have a camera tripod. Perfect. I have a little adapter that holds my cell phone in place. We try to do that here at work as well. It's, yeah. it's always advised yeah. to stabilize yeah. the camera. camera. All right, I know a lot of your students are getting excited about it. They're supposed to be um, coming out and trying to watch them as well, but yep. they're Gen Z too, so they don't necessarily <laughs> get back to us right yep. away. But uh, guys, we're gonna send it back over to you, but everybody's very excited about the Aurora Borealis. So uh, it's been on my bucket list forever. <laughs> right, hopefully we can uh, see it tonight. As, you said, as she said, so lock down that tripod, right? We're gonna right? try. So beautiful. Right, thanks, Thank Jen. You, Jen.